Aloha, this is Robert Stelic with Blue Planet Surf and in this video Alex Nix, our repair guy, is going to demonstrate how to install a subgrip handle on a board that doesn't have a handle. So in this case the board doesn't have a deck pad so that makes it easier otherwise you would have to basically peel off the deck pad in the area you're going to add the handle to. First of all Alex is finding the center po point of the board basically where the board's balanced so that when you lift up the board at the handle it's going to be balanced and note that he has a leash and a fin on the tail of the board because usually when you're carrying the board it's going to have the weight of the fin and the leash on the board so don't don't find the center point without the weight of a fin and the board uh, the leash on the tail of the board so the first step is to find that and he's going to install it next to the stringer to keep the integrity of the board so if your board does have a stringer you might want to offset it to the side a little bit marks the bottom of the box with a sharpie pen and he's going to use that as his router guide. He's using a two and a half inch deep bit for that plunge router. It's a half inch diameter bit and then he just freehands that um, cut. He can also make a template but it's fairly easy to cut it out. Um, you know just want to take your time and follow that line exactly and then make sure it fits nicely. You want it tight but not obviously not super tight. It should fit in there well and then once you got the depth of the box routed out then you can mark around the flange on the outside set the router at the depth of the flange and then uh, router that part out so then the box once you got that opening cut out properly the box should fit in there perfectly and be flush with the surface of the glass so then the uh, the handle is in flush with the glass then you're gonna uh, rough up the edges so the glass when you glass over it, it gets a nice grip to the deck glass and basically a lot of the strength comes from that glass that goes over the top of the handle um, but you also want to install the handle into the foam with a thickened resin so we recommend a, like a slow curing resin you don't need a whole lot of it if you got a nice tight fit not a lot of foam so he does this all in one step he puts in the resin first thickened resin and then cuts out some four inch uh, four ounce glass and mixes that with a clear resin clear epoxy and then uh, lays out each layer of glass separately wets it out with a paintbrush and uh, as you can see he likes to put lots of glass over it and that makes it a real solid installation where it's connected well to the deck of the board and then once that's dry you can cut out the glass around it with the razor blade and then sand it smooth add some finish a finish coat to it and then you're done or you can put deck pad over that cut cut the deck pad out with the razor blade and then you got a nice handle to carry your board it's fairly simple if you know how to use resin and the router all right thanks for watching aloha aloha i'm chelsea harden miss hawaii usa I'm Joanna Leocall, Miss Hawaii Team USA. Thanks for watching Blue Planet Surf YouTube channel. Give us a thumbs up. And subscribe to our channel as well.